Hello there folks, Jose Rodriguez back again. In this set of two videos, I'm going to demonstrate the proper technique to remove the original chip. In case you're doing your own cartridges, now remember that you can buy these already machined and ready to have single-use chips installed from me in the near future. But if you want to tackle this job yourself, I'm going to show you exactly how you need to approach this. Now when you look at the chip, on your original card you will see that it has two little welded posts and I'll try to show you that a little bit closer now the one on the right has to remain intact the one on the left we're going to actually shave down to the point where it is totally flat in other words the little melted portion of the post will be totally removed then you will be able to lift up the chip and slide it out in that direction okay and then the new chip will be able to be slid in and then pop back into that little post and a lot of folks what they do is they will actually use a little thin strip of electrical black tape and just tape it across in order to secure the chip a little bit more that may or may not be necessary now if you decide to go ahead and just pop the chip right out you will then damage this little post here and you will no longer be able to slide them in so you'll have to use a little bit of silicone or any kind of rubber cement or anything that's sticky even double sticky tape now there's another problem that we need to address and this is what I will do for you when you buy a set of cards from me it'll be already pre-done but we'll reach that point when we get there so let's go ahead and begin to remove the original chip now remember you will not need these anymore as there is no way to reset these at the present time or even the future time there is really just nothing that has been uh, out there for me to make me think that it's worth to keep these let's go ahead and just place the blade right there and just very gently slice that off now it is best to use probably an exacto knife and preferably one that is nice and fresh and sharp because this is a very delicate little operation as you see basically what we did we, we just shaved that down to nothing this is the surface of the actual chip so now all we have to do is to stick a blade or a bit of a screwdriver and then slide it right out we're going to just pull the chip right out from underneath the support that we did not damage and it's a little bit tricky you should use a pair of uh, tweezers these are a little bit too blunt but the thinner the tweezer the better it is so we're just going to go ahead and pop this right out like so and that is what you will end up with you will have an undisturbed post and the second one that still has the little welded spot that you can then basically just reinsert the single use chip like so and this will be fitted right over that existing hole as I said a lot of you will want to possibly secure it with a bit of um, black tape in other words you just have to secure the chip from the bottom portion or if you really really are worried go ahead and use a tiny bit of silicone or rubber cement is probably the better deal just put a little glob of it underneath and you will be able to then just replace the chip without any danger of it falling off during operation so we'll go ahead and remove it again now let me show you what the back of the chip looks like as you can see basically all of the electronic components are there they're bare now the chip that you will get from China has a blob of black resin laid on top of that and that acts as a protectant to all of those little microscopic micro circuits and that just keeps it from you know being damaged if you touch it or drop it on a surface or whatever it's not going to do a thing now the problem is because of that little blob this is the section where that little rectangular chip behind the actual chip that's the microchip right there that fits perfectly in that little rectangular little receptacle you need to actually machine that 
into a round little area or a round depression. And I use a milling machine with a round uh, end bit. It's a special milling bit. And I will have these pre-machined for you so you don't have to worry about it. The original chips that you remove will be thrown out and then the single-use chips from that point on you will be able to slip them in place without any problem whatsoever. And that is what you have to do. Okay, now when you get the cards from me, that'll be already done for you. In fact, you will receive them with the single-use chip already installed if you choose to order with that single-use chip. Single-use chips will be running retail about $3 each. They run wholesale, two fifty, so they're not super cheap. So I need to make a tiny little bit of profit and, of course, the time that it takes for me to do this for you. Carts will run probably around six dollars each and the set will be under a hundred dollars including shipping two-day shipping to your USA address only not Canada not Hawaii and not Alaska for the time being I will be looking into what it would cost for postage to ship to those other three locations and then maybe we can add those in the near future okay so that is it that's all you have to do I think it would be easier for you guys to just buy from me. That'll be precision machined out. They will all be identical. Otherwise, you have to use a knife and just kind of carve out that area. And you might damage this little post right here, which is very important. That's what you need to, again, to securely lock your chip in place. Let me just show you one last time before we go off. Basically, you're just going to place it there and get that open end. You notice that the chips always have one open end and that is the end that slides. At the factory when they when they prepare these chips that's what they do. They slide them in and then they weld down the, the little posts and there you go. Now I just locked it. It's not going anywhere. See that? It's not, it's not going anywhere. So you want to do that on your own? Go right ahead. Take your original cards out of the printer one by one and proceed to modify them the way that I just showed you and you should be good then you can just buy your own chips if you want to go that route or buy them from us China you have to buy a minimum number of uh, sets so it may not be an affordable thing for you guys to do uh, we'll be doing that don't worry about it so you will be able to order chips from either myself or precision colors in fact precision colors will probably get a much better price than i can and will probably pass down the savings on to you guys a little bit more than i will be able to okay so that's it the next video we'll do i'm going to show you some really interesting things about what actually lives inside one of these pgi 29 carts so we'll be back in the next video